In space, no one can hear you mine. For rare earth elements, that is. Along with several other nations, Canada is getting closer to something once thought to be science fiction, extracting resources from asteroids and the moon. So that's what we're working on is extending Canada's global leadership in natural resources to space um, to be a pillar for the international community. Even beyond the potential to make space exploration easier, proponents of so-called space mining say the practice could come with some benefits to Earth's climate as well. There are currently a few groups in the country working toward this potential future, such as the Canadian Space Mining Corporation. These and other advocates say that the dust on Earth's moon, which contains ice crystals, could be processed into water, oxygen, and even hydrogen fuel for spacecraft. Having these vital resources already in space reduces the amount of fuel and emissions required to blast them off from the planet's atmosphere and gravity. Similarly with uh, water, oxygen, consumables for life support are very heavy, require a lot of mass to bring them to space. It's inefficient, therefore producing them long term makes sense in space. Manufacturing uh, spacecraft satellite technologies over the long term uh, a lot of that will move to space where you don't have to fly it out of Earth's orbit, right? Um, mm. So it's more environmentally uh, effective to do that. Another climate benefit is that the moon and asteroid could contain vital rare Earth elements or critical minerals. Back on Earth, these could be used in the creation of renewable sources of energy and other climate-friendly tech. However, experts say it could be a long time before extraterrestrial elements are brought back to terra firma. I think the bottom line is that all of these things are technologically possible, but whether they are economically and environmentally viable in a meaningful time frame is very open to question.